Good morning, Southern West Virginia. We have a lot to talk about for today. For your morning's commute, we have great driving conditions, clear skies in the morning, which will transition into sunny and lots of blue skies this afternoon. Temperatures are quite chilly due to radiation cooling. We're seeing 20 degrees in Union, Raynell, 25 in Hinton, 22 in Beckley and Pineville, and 26 degrees in Bluefield. Temperatures are getting cooler because of radiational cooling, which means with clear skies overnight, all the heat is escaping into the atmosphere. So temperatures drop significantly compared to a mostly cloudy night. So temperatures are about 10 degrees cooler this morning compared to yesterday's morning. But yesterday we reached our high temperature at 41 degrees, so below average temperatures. The good news is today we're going to warm up around just slightly below average, about upper 40s. But this is a live look at the Doppler radar. We're staying dry, but let's just zoom on out. Let's see what's going around the country. We're actually seeing some sh snow showers, parts of Omaha, Nebraska, and rain showers, and also in central parts of Kansas. Other than that, it's pretty quiet off down to our south, clear skies over Tennessee and also into Kentucky. Now, the reason why we're seeing clear skies is all thanks to this high pressure system. So this kept us dry last night and also the cool conditions. But we also have a storm system off to our west that could bring some showers into Thursday. We're going to start to warm up on Wednesday as this high pressure system moves to the east. We'll get nice southeast winds warming up southern West Virginia. We'll probably get some more clouds rolling in, probably mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies for Wednesday, which will be your first day of spring. But once we get to Thursday, this cold front moves in uh, late, probably in the afternoon. But we have another storm system down to our south that's forming. And by about Thursday afternoon, these two storm systems kind of combine. And so that cold front passes through about late Thursday night. So we'll see some scattered showers late in the day. We could see some isolated showers in the morning of Thursday. So really nothing too much to worry about. Very light. That's going to push off to the east. And we have a second high pressure system that's going to give us a nice, dry, and warm weekend ahead. Now, spring is just one day away. So let me just give you a recap of how our winter was like. Check this out. Basically, this is the temperatures of, uh, of our winter, basically. And so we're a little bit warmer than our average. So I'll just let you read the numbers. We're about close to three quarters of a degree warmer than average. We saw about two and a half inches wetter compared to average, but we saw significantly less snowfall, about 13 and a half inches less than normal. So it's been, definitely been a warmer and dr wetter uh, winter season for southern West Virginia. But for your hour by hour forecast for today, for your last day of winter, lots of sunshine, temperatures into the mid to upper 40s. And for your extended forecast, check this, check this out. Lots of sunshine, temperatures start to warm back up as we're going to reach in the 60s by the weekend.